team first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's 10 minutes after 6. And as we know, there's nothing like fall in western Wisconsin. And Tina captured just a beautiful shot of Carson Park with the, a lot of the leaves on the ground now, but still the ones that are in the trees really showing those colors. Now, there's a lot of locations that still haven't reached peak foliage just yet, but within the next couple of days and within the next couple of, or next week or two for some of us a little further towards the south that's likely when we'll get to that peak foliage so tina thank you for sending us our weather snapshot this week and with all of those fall colors that are really popping i'm expecting to see more of those photos submitted to weau.com weather now for today it is just going to be a very pleasant fall day overall with a little bit of a chilly start this morning but temperatures will rebound fairly nicely getting into the upper 40s by the mid-morning hours as we'll have some intervals of clouds and sun from time to time. I think we'll have a little bit more sunshine for today. But overall, our temperatures mostly in the 30s in those spots that we don't have that cloud cover. And with a light wind that we've seen, that allows for more radiational cooling. But further towards the northeast, that's where we have some more clouds that have been hanging around. And as we know, that acts kind of like a blanket. That's why we have those temperatures that are in the 40s up that way. Again, very calm winds across the board. And that's not going to change too much throughout the course of the day. We'll just have a very light wind that's mostly out of the east. There's a look at that cloud cover on the satellite and radar, mostly north and east of I-94. The rest of us have had a mainly clear sky, and things have been pretty quiet across most of the upper Midwest. But there are some changes that will be looming later on this week. Now for today, very pleasant, but tonight a few high clouds will start to roll in. This comes out ahead of our next weather maker, which will bring some significant rain towards our area later on this week. Now, tomorrow afternoon, some of us to the south could get clipped by a couple showers, but that's not really the meat and potatoes of this, if you will. Looking ahead to tomorrow night and into Friday morning, that's where this becomes a lot more widespread. And where you see these yellows and oranges, that indicates those heavier rates of rainfall. And notice how prolonged this is going into tomorrow night, into Friday morning, into the afternoon. And some of these showers could linger all the way into Saturday morning. So there's quite a bit of rain that we're expecting out of this. And notice these winds pick up quite a bit as well, and they can gust anywhere from 35 up to 45 miles per hour. So this is why we have uh, declared a first alert weather day for Friday. Now that means that maybe not severe weather, but impactful weather uh, will be looming. Again, we could see some localized flooding with those rainfall totals anywhere from one to three inches. That's a pretty good consensus with the models and even uh, some are showing a touch beyond that three inches. So be sure to plan accordingly if you have any plans going into Friday afternoon or into the evening as well. Otherwise, for today, very pleasant intervals of clouds and sun with highs near 60. For tonight, dipping to around 40 with a few of those clouds working in. In the next couple of days, as those showers head our way, that'll cool things off with highs struggling to crack 50 on Friday. And heading into the weekend, into the start of next week, we'll keep those cooler temperatures as we dry things out with those highs in the low 50s and overnight lows returning to the upper 30s. Now for a Sunshine Award, Don and Phyllis Petsnick would like to nominate Steve and Dory Petsnick and says they took us to appointments at the hospital in Rochester, Minnesota. Three times their dad had surgery there and they also went to visit him, taking me with them. They attended each doctor's appointment, plus they mowed our lawn all summer. Now if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.